I think Lambda Complex and Zen are pretty long. What is Zen? Is that like a chapter that's coming up? Uh, Half Life. A location. You will know when you get to it. Okay. Cool. Uh, where did we get to? Forget about Freeman. That's what we got to. All right. Oh yeah, we just we just. Uh... Okay, I'm fucking dead just like that. All right. I stood in the wrong place and got instantly crushed by this. Uh, yeah, I just bombed some place. Oh, this is all coming down. Okay, I need to leave. Fucking hell. The fuck? Where do I go? <laughs> Everything is blocked off. Bro. Do I go back down where I came from or something? Or do I like go here? I guess I go through here. Okay. I can't even hear what that said. They're, they're leaving, and anyone down here is something. I assume it just means they're gonna bomb you. I assume. Oh, hello, Barry. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. There are subtitles, are there? Have I played this entire game without subtitles? I don't think there is. Was auto aim. Don't see any. Come on, Barry. Let's uh, let's run this joint. It's one of these fuckers. Oh shit! I have no ammo. Barry! My boy! I got fucking pummeled by those things too. Took a lot of damage. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, there's no subs in Half Life 1. Right, fuck, right. We might live longer if we work together. True, Barry. Let's go. No, we don't have that of people not saved by Ben Cancer. I was told that I can't save that many people anyway. Bro. What in the fuck is that down there? Dude, I'm taking... I don't have, like, any good way to kill these fucking things. Oh, that's a good one, actually. That one shots it. Crossbow? Is crossbow even good against them? This is good. That was, that was decent. Seems like you caved to peer pressure. No, I, I I didn't cave to peer pressure. It was more like I had a reason to not want to play, and then I realized that that reason doesn't really make any sense. So then, you know, why not, right? Yo, Julian, welcome. Dude, and there was ammo for this in, in here the whole time. Rip, whatever. GLHF, thank you. Can I go up here? Maybe, yeah. Nah, it's not a DYOM only stream. I usually use DYOM as just like, uh, you know, not quite sure what to do, but I want to stream, and I can just play it for as little or as long as I I like, you know. 
So if I only want to stream for like an hour or two, I can just do a bit of DYM. If I want to stream for a bit longer, I can stream that until I figure out what I want to do. So what is this thing? It's like a growth over here. Can I destroy it? Oh! These little fuckers. These do so much fucking damage. Dude. Oh. They're so hard to fucking shoot as well. Whew. Yo, Chirp, how's Half-Life going? Uh, I think it's going good. I'm getting towards the end, I think. I've just got a couple more chapters left, I think. But you'll know more than I will, I suppose. I don't know what I'd even use those things for. Nerdy, that's the thing. They just seem worse than other stuff. I don't know. Okay. Do I like three thirds into the game? Well, that would imply that I've beaten it, no? If I'm three thirds in. I mean quarters, yeah, yeah. That all right, sounds sounds about right. These little fuckers. Bro, this gun is so fucking inaccurate. It's so annoying. Where's the other one? I think it died. I'm tired, that's my excuse. All good, I'll let you off. Alright, let's move. Bugs do low damage, but are infinite. I do vaguely remember that. But if it's low damage, but infinite, I have other better guns, right? So what's the point? I hate microscopic enemies. Yeah, same. Uh, very annoying. That's the uh, military boys. I have like no health for these guys. I have even less health now. Right. Good shit. Uh. Nice, I got a health pack. I'll keep looking under the water in case there's other health packs as well. I don't think I can jump this, but I can go up here. Fuck's sake. The fact that these do 10% is so annoying. Because they can launch on you so quickly. Ah, oh, it's one of these fuckers. Fantastic. Just go. Oh, these fucking things as well that fucking eat you. Oh my god, I'm on fire and I'm dead. Awesome. It's like steam pipes, that's why I took so much damage. I'm jamming myself in this thing. There we go. And there's a fucking military guy here as well. Okay, just chill for a second. Yep. Bro. 
Okay. Got a lot of rockets. I assume I'm gonna need them for something. Hello, Mr. Cakes Boy. Welcome. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's a brutal game, though. But it's fun. But very, very brutal. Ow. I guess that's why we need the rockets. Okay. I thought this thing would like stop shooting eventually, but it just didn't. Fuck's sake. Like, how am I supposed to shoot this thing without it just like insta killing me? No, I haven't done the hazard course. I've been told about 50 times that I should have done it. I didn't know it existed until it was too late. Oh my fucking god, man. How do I avoid getting one shot here? Am I supposed to just like somehow dodge the fire? Like, I don't get this. Because at any time it can just like shoot the wall behind me and kill me. Right? Okay. It's just not worked. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? I just like, missed the ladder by like, a fucking pixel. Fuck's sake. Yeah, Half-Life ladders. What the fuck, dude? Okay, are you gonna let me climb on this time? Yep, thank you. Alright, Nolly. Let's go. Any any healthers? I go through this. Emergency containment door oh. Yeah, quick saves are really coming in handy. This game would be fucking mega hard. Like, it already is hard. But playing this without quick saves would take me like 10 times longer, legit. Like, I've died so many fucking times. To like the craziest shit. Ideal for the crossbow, I want to say. I just one shot them both. Did this crossbow? 
Oh, damn. You would be more careful if you didn't have auto saves. True, but I'd still die a lot, I think. I think I'd still get smacked up quite a bit. Just because of how hard this game is in, in general. shooting these dolls with the tank. Can I, like, climb in? I can press the button, I think. Yeah. Oh, hello. This thing is so good against those. After the hitboxes linger for so long after you fucking shoot something, it's so annoying. What is this? Bro, I didn't fucking kill that thing. Like a turret or something. Oh, there goes all my health again. Good. Good. Great. Lambda core. Button. I see red button, I press red button. Uh, uh. Was I supposed to go with this? Alright, fuck it. I can slide down, right? Easy. I'm a genius. Wait, I'm stuck. I'm not a genius. Help! I wanted to be on this. Fuck. I mean, we're going down, I guess. Sure, that works. That was optimal. Safety regulations be damned. There was more of those little things. I know there were. There's one up there. Look at how inaccurate this fucking gun is. I'm literally pixel perfect on that thing. Fucking nonsense. Wait. What is that? I thought it was an enemy. Ah! Oh, it was. I just killed it, I think. Give me health. You'll enjoy this next bit. Okay. Yo, Shiv, thanks for the 20 months. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Very kind of you. Oh, are these more ninjas? I think it's more ninjas. Oh, it is. Fuck. I don't have a lot of health for this. These fuckers are so fast. Bruh, I'm getting outplayed. Got one. 
It only cost me all of my armor and half of my health. Yeah, they are super annoying. Health! More health. Alright. Oh, I can hear them all. Bruh, fuck this thing. Beat me again, pussy. Beat me again, pussy. Outplayed. <laughs> Just run into my crosshair. Ah, there's two of them! Bruh. Well, now I'm fucking dead. Fuck's sake. Wait, check this. No! Dude. Well, I play the DLCs, I plan to, yeah. Come back here, you fucking coward. Bro, these things are so fucking annoying. Dude, how do I get outplayed like that? <laughs> no! Outplayed, outplayed, outplayed. Who's the real winner? Ben won Assassins like five. Let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, yeah, I know I can right mouse, I just forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys had more lead pumped into him than some countries. That's kind of toxic, no? Hello? Ah! Alright then. I have two bullets for that. Ironic because lead is toxic. Yeah, I knew that as a very smart person. Yeah, 17 HP is not ideal for this, is it? Really not ideal. Fuck, I didn't mean to press that. I meant to fucking save. I don't know why I don't rebind the keys to not be right next to each other, but at this point I'm used to it used to pressing them, so I'd just fuck them up if I try and rebind them. God's sake. What's my best weapon for this job? I guess the bazooka, but I kind of don't want to use that. I really like the crossbow. Or maybe like a, like a frag mine or something. So now I can put down, and then when I open it, I'll blow it up. A genius. Double genius. Peek me, pussy. How does that still hit me? Bro, these guys are proper hackers. Well, we managed to make it through. Oh no, we didn't. There's another one. Fucking hell. Unless that was the same one.
Kill it. I would absolutely love some HP, fellas, I'm going to be honest. I don't like the sound of that. I apologize, oh. Mr. Freeman, but I couldn't risk opening that door until I was okay. sure you would Wait, you can heal me, right? This is the last entrance to the Lambda complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind to let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation labs. You're not authorized to know about those. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. Okay. Can you help me? Uh, it appears that you need medical attention right away. Let's try this. Thank you. Not great, but we'll take it. Because they only hear me I once. I suppose you reconsider. No. Activate this. Access denied. Thank you. Oh, nice. Good shit. Alrighty. We're going down? Or not? Test firing chamber. What's the other one? Lumber coolant system. Were you in weapons research too? I built the glue on gun, but I just can't bring myself to use it on a living creature. You don't look as if you have any trouble killing things. The glue on gun? What is this? What does that do? It's so loud, holy shit. Uh, cool. I guess we'll test it at some point. Oh, you can spawn this into test on it? Did I suck it up? Real shit. I straight up vacuumed it up. That's huge. Oh. Uh, right, pleasure doing business with you. I can heal you again after the cooldown. How long is the cooldown out of interest? Barry! Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Barry. Freeman, isn't it? You'll need to activate both pumps and flood the reactor, and then that access pipe down there will take you to the core. Time is short. So we gotta foot it, and then we gotta go to down to the core. Okay. It's like the full heal. Okay, so we're gonna... Gotta find the two pumps to flood it. Ox tank sounds like a way. Hello.
Sounds awesome. Let's go, Barry. Which sound do I like more? I like the suit charge station. It sounds very, uh, very epic. We have to go down, I guess, to... Yeah, down here. Flow to the main reactor. Or do I not need to go here yet? Because I, I need to flood the place. Whatever, I'll go here and see if it stops me. Oh, you do it from here. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not doing anything. What is that doing? I can hear it like turning something. I just break through this. There's nothing here. It just turns and then nothing happens. Do I need to come back here later, maybe? Do I need to go and like flood the thing first and then come back once these things are working? Really? These things really loaded back in? Bruh. <clears throat> I never got this far because the game spooked me. I mean, it is pretty spooky, to be fair. You can see that. When you load them up, does it really respawn all the fucking enemies? That's Oh my fucking god. I had so much health and I'm gonna lose it all because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I didn't want to go in here, let me out! Let me back out! You fucking shit game. Oh my god. I only assume I need to go down. Yeah, coolant system. This is where we want to be. Right? Is this where we came? I don't fucking remember. I'm already lost. No, this is right. Oh my fucking god. These things are so annoying to kill. Holy shit. Been so long since I played it, I don't remember what the fuck to do here. Good, keep it that way. I'll figure it out. Activated the pump. Now we need to do it to the other one, I guess. Yeah. We go down here. Oh, floats are reactor. Okay. We still got to go through though. But that is that is the way. That's the way that we need to go. Like. But we need to go and do the other other pump station first, I think. Uh, how have we got out of here? 
Where is pump station two? Pump station two, pump station two. Well, that's not ideal, is it? I can still get through there. Yep. It's like my only choice is to just like fucking try and run and gun them down. Yeah. Start with the fucking health for this. And of course, there's one of these fuckers in here as well. Just to be as annoying as possible. We got some health at least, which is good. Okay, up here we go. Jesus fucking Christ. You little fucking smelly dickhead game. This game, as much as I really like it, there are so many moments that are so fucking cheap. That is one of them. Like, in a blind playthrough, there is no way you're supposed to like not take damage there. And just get fucking wrecked by that guy. Like, that is pure bullshit. And I will not be told otherwise. Like, I don't mind because of the fact that I can reload so quickly. But I've had some real bullshit deaths in this game. Yeah, there was an enemy there. Don't worry, you are somehow doing better than most people I played watching this. Dude, you can't... Fucking contrary to what I've been told in my chat, the amount of people fucking flaming me acting like I'm the worst fucking Half-Life player they've ever seen. Jesus. Like, spend two minutes on a puzzle and everyone's absolutely gagging to fucking tell me where to go because I haven't figured it out yet. Like, come on, dude. Just let me play the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, now we go back down to wherever it was. Uh, where was it? This way? This way, I think. Yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah. I say you're better at shooting than solving puzzles. I mean, good. Most of this game is shooting, so I'll take that. Okay. Now we can do these? Yeah. Deal. I really didn't save until I was all the way back here. Fuck me, Dad. <sighs> Check auto save, whatever. I'm not that far away. I'm just used to only being set back six seconds, so when it's 15, I'm fuming. But that's my, my bad for not saving. That's on me, even. Yeah, the auto save would have been here, I think. That's fine. Save like. 
It's not going up anymore. Hello? I need to go up to this ladder, right? Why is it not going up? It did last time. Plans on checking out Black Mesa. I do have plans, but it'll be like way later on because I don't see the, same, the point in playing the same game twice. What is happening? The last time it went all the way up to this ladder and now it, this time it just didn't. I swear I did the same thing. It absolutely is, Amzi, you know it. Why is this not working? What am I doing wrong? I literally did the same thing last time. I activated both of them and they went all the way up. And this time they just haven't. I, I did the same thing. I turn the second well I've tried to turn both of them like several different times since if you do both at the same time it gets bugged for fuck's sake well I think I fucking saved after it fuck's sake man oh this is a great little auto save isn't it fantastic Where did the fucking enemy go? Did it, like, die? Whatever. Good enough. It did, it died. Just go. Lost all my armor, but I'll take it. Fucking hell, what a nightmare. Fuck using the elevator. Uh, I don't think I'm, do I'm doing this without dying. Oh, I'm good. Supply. Mega puzzle. Yeah, over there? Is there anything over there? Wait, I might be able to do that. Wait. Huge sequence break. Huge. Now just get me down. I can't get down. The pipe's blocking me. Fuck. This would have, this would have been so genius. I could have skipped to, to through to this side. But I got screwed by physics. Whatever. Fuck this guy. Can you look at that metal crate for me? I want to see what it says. It doesn't say anything, does it? It's a crate. Hi, Barry. It's not possible. I mean, it was in a corner, so I, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, these things aren't pushable.
go, Barry. Oh my fucking god. His name Barry. Yeah, Barry. People kept telling me that Barry's name was Barney for some reason, but I don't know why. I guess they're just trolling. I don't know. So cheap spawning behind me. What the fuck? I thought you were Barry. Where's Barry? Barry, help me, you dick. What the fuck is that? Barry, what is that? Okay, I'll wait here and help anyone else who comes by. Roger that. Let's run like hell. I'm gonna die if I touch this. Whoa. Oh, is, are these the teleporters? Barry, I teleported. How sick was that, Barry? Barry, you don't even care. I just fucking teleport. This guy doesn't give a shit. Oh, fuck you then, Barry. You're so boring. Are you coming with me or not? <clears throat> I love how you go, uh... You guys are all, like... Basically arguing about, like, which bit is, like, the worst version of this. Like... The, in, is the entire end game just like complete shit? Everyone's like, no, the, the second to last chapter is the worst. No, the last chapter is the worst. Like, does the ending of this game just suck or what? What's the deal there? Can you push Barry into the teleporter? I would have to estimate no. Come in, Barry. See you later. Okay, why not? You do. Alright, fuck you then. Wee! Do I jump in here and teleport? Sweet. Go. Yeah. Cool. I go down. Oh. Okay. Now where? Fuck's sake. Where am I now? Teleport me back here. Did I get? I okay. I got. Uh, what did you say? I didn't hear what you said. Right. I need to get up here. Port number three. Oh, so is the teleportation different depending on which way you like access it from? Yeah, it is. I think. Okay. So this was port one. The other one was port two, which had the supplies. Do you like the platforming in this game? I fucking hate the platforming in this game. Well, these things fuck off and leave me alone. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Fucking go away. Oh my god, these fucking pieces of shit. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just dead. I'm just dead to these fucking things, straight up. That's cool. So port two had all the supplies, right? Oh no, port two took me upstairs, okay. 
Well, I still want to see what's on port one. So there might have been something useful there. If I don't get killed. Good inning style. Look at them. They just spawn right in front of you. Look at this. Do, do they spawn infinitely or what? The game just fucking cheats. I can't move. How am I stuck on this fucking one little piece of shit thing? All this for those grenades? Okay, that's not worth it and losing all that health. Okay. So port number three was the other thing. Port number two is to go upstairs. Oh my god. And I've got to do it while looking at the right thing as well. Like I've got to go in while a platform is above me. <sighs> okay. Port six. Is this just like trial and error then? I've already been in there, haven't I? Oh, uh, haven't I? No, I haven't. So I guess each room has a like a resupply room. Let's see what's on fire. Hello. Uh, yes. These guys give me anything? Or? Why did this guy just go red? I have no doubt. Yes. It's weird, but okay. It's done here. Yo, watcher. I refuse to go another step. Just because you're a pussy. Wait, this takes me here. So what's the point in coming down here? Oh, so I can go back this way. I don't really need to, though. Don't do it. Okay, um, right, let's go back out. Freeman, who would have thought you'd still be alive? We can't go back? Do I really have to go this way again? Oh, so I have to go this way? Are you kidding me? The door? I tried to go through the door. It wouldn't open. The guy's blocking it. Oh, now he, now he moves, okay. He was blocking it. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, we're back. So what was it? Two... Two the first time. Then six. Why did I just randomly fall off there? I was stood on it and I just fell off for no reason. I just like stopped moving. Sake. I'm just getting impatient now. Dude, what am I doing? I need to fucking wait until I... I'm just walking in blindly into the fucking teleporter. Has to be four then? Yeah, it is. Then I fell through anyway. Okay. Then we can go seven. That looks correct, but I'm curious as to what's on the other ones. Eight takes me here. It's harm, thanks.
This doesn't really take me anywhere useful. Nine tickles you. Let's see. So if you walk in, nine just insta-kills you. <laughs> like, how is that not just a really cheap death? If you just walk in and die there, right at the end. That's so daft. It's red and funky looking? I mean, sure, but like... Red doesn't necessarily mean, like, instant death. But I see your point. Am I going across... Where did I even come from? The teleporter, I guess? I'm gonna go to, like, the door. It is open. Oh, you... Right, you need to open all the switches. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Yo, and Ross, welcome. I guess it's a three somewhere. We did two. We did one. Uh, the other Half-Life VODs, yeah, they're still on Twitch, or you can look at them on the VODs channel on YouTube. There isn't a three, is there? There's just the one and two? So can I go straight in there now? Yeah. Okay. Boss. I thought I had a better save than this. I wouldn't have usually reset over losing that little health. Plans on playing Half-Life, Alex. The only thing is, I don't have a VR setup, so... I don't know, maybe, but... Wait, what? Oh, right. I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah, I don't have a setup to play it, is the only thing. Play it with Google Cardboard. I think it would be quite the same. Hello, oh, go, 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 welcome. If I wanted to play it, I'd play it properly. I'm, I don't just want to play it, like, not in proper VR, you know? I'd want to play it, play it. Yeah, I don't want to play it non-VR mod. As much as it's cool that that exists, so you don't need a, a VR setup to play it, I don't see the point in playing it, unless... I'm doing it properly. What boys? Freeman, you finally found us. So I did. The guy. We thought you'd never make it. Hey, Barry. This is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way um, before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. We suspect there is an immense portal over there created by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. You will know it when you see it. I hate to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it if you can. Yeah, you'd better kill it. Of course, you owe us nothing, Mr. Freeman, but you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, there won't be much for you to come home to. Yes. So... If you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. He will open the gates for you, Mr. Freeman. Do hurry. Don't forget to gear up. And I'll cover you while you're waiting for that portal to warm up. What? Anything with these? Ooh. This, Mr. Freeman, is a long jump module created expressly for navigation in the world beyond. Oh, shit. I certainly hope you received long jump training, because once you're in Zen, you will need it. I would advise you to practice before crossing over. Long jump training? Uh, I don't think I received any of that. But I'm happy to wing it. 
Yeah, I didn't do the ha hazard course, yeah. Whoops. Alright, let me make sure everything's reloaded. Good to go. Before we head out. I didn't play the tutorial before this, no. Oops. Okay. We're all good. I'll I'll test it out. How hard can it be, right? How do I use it? Maybe it's like automatic. You double jump. Okay, I can't use it yet. Hold control and then space. That also doesn't work. All right. Well, I guess I'm just not using it then. I'm up here. Practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up. Couch jump while running. That also does nothing. Oh, there we go. Right. Right. Got it. That seems fine. Why do I need training for that? Where am I? Where am I what am I doing now? Am I going up here? Look at this insane sliding. You can see right. him up there. I can open the portal now. The okay. process is complicated, and once yeah, it's open begun, the I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? I will begin. An enemy's gonna come and interrupt him, I guess. It's gonna be fun. Flying aliens! I fail. The Magnum is not really good for this, these uh, harshly moving targets. Okay, uh, new plan. What's a better gun for these things? Alright, I should try out the glue gun. True, I didn't use that a lot. I can't even see what it really does. It seems to do something. Definitely seems to suck the little fuckers up. Oh, and he still got killed. It's hard to tell when you've killed somebody with this glue gun. Oh yeah. I wish I could get a fucking vantage point. Sometimes they just like hide in really annoying places. God say. Bro, this is so annoying. But oh I can go up the ladder, okay. Well that makes this a lot easier. This is what I wanted. I wanted a fucking vantage point so I can actually see them. This is way better. You're an ugly bastard, are you? Shit, run out of armor. I'm almost in position. These things take fucking... What? I'm trying to shoot these fucking things. 
Okay, let me just go. Go. I thought he said get me into position and then the portal opened. Am I might fuck's sake. Hurry up. It's ready. You must go now. All right. Yeah, I was like a second too fucking early. All right, nice little seizure warning. Good shit. What the fuck is this? This is Zen that you were talking about. All right. All right, uh, let's get our uh, long jump boots on. Good. It's like, depending on who you speak to, this is the best or the worst part of the game. Now where do I go? Do I just jump down? Surely not, right? Oh, I can go across here. Boom. Look at this movement, I'm cracked. Tactical drop down. I guess then I'm going down here. Can I like slide down those things? Or I'll, I'll probably die instantly, to be honest. If I try that shit. Take a bit of damage, but that's all right. Huge. If I touch these things or will I die? I don't die. I, I could have probably slid down them. All right, now where am I going? Am I like destroying these things or what? Good on here. Oh, it carries us like down, down, down. Is it? It's like car. Oh, what the? Oh shit. Okay. Jesus. Those things take so much fucking damage. Holy shit. These things has attacked me too? No. Jesus. You can destroy those things. You might not be able to, but I can, because I'm built different. <clears throat> this is the part where Black makes a difference the most from OG OG HR one. I see. Good to know. Oh what the fuck am I doing? Oh, did it heal me? I didn't see that. Oh sick. I didn't notice that. Now, stuff like that is fine. That's not really like a spoiler. Like, it's not telling me what to do or where to go. It's just like, oh, Ben, like, there was this thing that you missed. That's probably, like, of interest to you. Like, it's not like an actual objective or anything. Okay. Is there anything in these, like, crevices? Or do I just need to, like, keep going down? Backseating. I mean, like, I don't really see it as that, but I can understand why somebody would. But I don't know. Now where? 
But like what I wouldn't be okay with is like, don't tell me where to go now. Like, don't tell me what to do. I wouldn't appreciate that. Uh huh. Is this thing gonna take me back down again? No, I think this I think I think this thing just brings me onto this floor. I don't think this really helps me. I'll see where it goes though. No, so there's no other way down. Like there's no there's no you know There's no extra platform down. Huh, so where the fuck do I go? What do I do? I have like no objective. I just got into the teleporter and then nothing since then. Weird. Yeah, true, Christoma, true. They told you before going into the portal? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy trying to shoot all the guys. And dealing with teleporters and shit. But even if I, my objective is to kill someone, I haven't found that someone, right? Like, there's no, I've killed everything here. And it has to be something down here, because otherwise, why would you go down here at all? Like, what's the point? Apart from just, like, the healing pool, maybe? But it doesn't sound right. I have to... Does that always make that sound? It does. Maybe the pillars? No? They look kind of weak. You can get through the cracks, but there's seemingly nothing there. There's like a few health packs and shit, but... Nothing else, really. And I have this long jump, but... I don't know what I can do with it. There is a moving platform, but it doesn't take me anywhere interesting. It just kind of carries me around from the top to the bottom. It just goes out there and then goes around again. And there's nothing underneath. Just in case there's maybe like some kind of gap or something around, I don't know. Destroy these? Huh? <sighs> Bro, I have no idea. There's a little tunnel in one of the cracks. If that's true, and you're not just trolling, you're getting fucking timed out. Enjoy your five minute timeout.
Next time will be permanent. I'm not fucking around. It's honestly so sad. Like, it makes me not want to play casual games on stream anymore. If every single time I get stuck for more than two minutes, I'm just going to have it fucking spoiled for me. I'd rather just play offline. Like, now I know how people feel when they play this these games. Like, I haven't had that before because, like, you know, I don't usually play games through blindly on stream. But it's so fucking annoying, man. No, it has been proven time and time again that having tags or things on the stream that says fucking no backseating doesn't do anything. Like, you think it will, it doesn't do anything. I, I literally said in my last Half-Life stream, I explicitly said, I want to figure this out, don't tell me where to go, and within 30 seconds someone spoiled it for me and told me where to go. Like, I literally said, there's no way you could possibly misunderstand what I'm saying. Do not tell me what to do. And I've said it several times, and people still do it. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, people are just going to do it anyway. And it's just sad, because you just... Games just get fucking ruined for you. Like, I don't understand why you would assume that somebody wants to be backseated. Like... When I go into a stream and I'm familiar with a game and the person playing it isn't, I will assume that they don't want to be backseated unless they specifically ask for it. Because most people don't want to be told what to do in a game they've never played before. If they just wanted to find out what to do, they would just look up a guide and follow that on stream. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why people would just assume that they want to be spoon-fed through. Like, it just ruins the fucking fun for everyone. You can interact with these things. Maybe the person thought you're getting frustrated if you're stuck for too long. That isn't up to them to decide. That is up to me to decide that I've been here for too long. I could sit here for an hour and not figure out this puzzle, and I am still more than within my right to not have it spoiled. Like, there's no defending it. Absolutely no defending it. What are these things doing? There's like some butterflies in here. Oh, these are gonna fly to these three things. Okay. No? Why is everything so loud? It's a good question. Donnock Slayer. Okay. I don't like the sound of that at all. Uh. Run away. Yeah, run away, pussy. This thing legit looks like me IRL. Whoa! This thing is so loud! I am the aggressor, you are the prey. Remember that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Take me to your leader. Don't get tea bagged. I'm trying. All right, we're fighting again. Can I just go straight down here? Oh, I can. That's not where I wanted to go, though. I have to fight it until it blows out this thing as well, I guess. Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting that this doesn't have a floor. Uh, hmm.
The only thing is, I've kind of used all my good bombs for this. Ow. Ah! Jesus, fuck. In the straight up corners, right? What am I getting fucking wrecked by? There's those little things, I think. Shit, I'm gonna get... What? Oh, it's those things, again, the little small things are killing me. Have I got to fight this thing underwater? Are you kidding? I have no health for this. Tentacles can attack you as well. Okay, I need a better fight. I need to not take... I need to not take that much damage here. That isn't water. Oh. them they're way too small dude I'm just getting comboed these little things are so annoying oh my god you just keep getting stuck on them they legit have the tiniest fucking hitboxes, but they completely stop you in your tracks and make you take so much unnecessary damage. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> yeah, I used like all my good fucking weapons at the start for this. And now I have none. Combos me. Holy fuck, man! Doctor, how many, how many time, uh, how many months have you been subscribed? You've been here for eleven months. Yesterday, I had to time you out because you wouldn't stop fucking backseating me, even though I asked you not to. And then your first message today that I've seen in my stream is immediately backseating me again, like. What the fuck is your problem? Like, do I really have to ban someone who's been sub to me for a fucking year? Is that really what I'm having to come to? Because you just can't keep your mouth shut and let me play the fucking game? Like, that's so sad if that's the case. That's so fucking sad.
It's all good, Corey. I'm just getting really sick of it. I'm sure you understand that. Like, it makes me either not want to play at all, or if I do play, just not read chat. Which would suck to not be able to fucking speak to people, which is the whole fun of playing this. Because every single time I look at my chat, there's a solution being spoiled for me. That's not fun. So am I supposed to jump after this thing or what? I think I am. But then what? I'm supposed to follow it down? I'm gonna try and do that without losing all my health. I can avoid it. You take so fucking much damage going down there. Do we have to fight this thing? Still? I guess we do. Oh my god, I can't move. I'm legit stuck on these tiny little fucking things. Look at this. The tiniest little things ever and I can't fucking move. And then it's eating me alive. Fuck off, man. The fact that you can get your entire hitbox blocked by that thing that's like barely even fucking visible to the naked eye is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Come on then, where is this thing? I'm supposed to kill it, aren't I? There it is. I need to watch out for those things. This thing just doesn't stop freaking about. Like, what is that movement? Yeah, you lose, like, all your health falling down the fucking thing. Oh my god, these are the most annoying fucking things ever. And I can't even see them to even attempt to shoot them. I can only see them, like, when they attack me. And I just can't fucking hit this thing, because it just won't stop glitching out. I killed it, but I'm basically dead myself. I kill it and I die for my troubles. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Fucking awesome.
keep moving. I'll keep moving. Move. My God, this fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Okay. They're still following me, these fucking iron little ghost things. For God's sake. Do I want to go in here, or is this death? I assume this is death. Trypophobia warning? Dude, trypophobia does kind of, like, gross me out. Although, I definitely don't have, like, a phobia of it. But, I appreciate you... ...saying it, nonetheless. Don't Google it. Yeah, definitely don't Google that, if you... If you don't know what it is. It's fucking... Again, like, I don't have a fear of it. It's just gross. Like, when I look at it, I just feel a bit sick. You know? I got some health, please. Oh, this is healing water, right? Sick. I'll sit in here for as long as I want. Trypophobia is like... A phobia of like, holes. And when you Google it, it gives you like, really horrific imagery of like, people with like, holes in their hands and things like that, and like, really awful skin conditions that give them like, holes. Yeah. And for some reason, it's just, like, really unsettling to a lot of people. But if you Google it, like, the imagery that you see is, like, grotesque, even if you don't... You know, if you're, even if you're not bothered, bothered by that stuff. But I, I would very much argue that even if you don't have trypophobia, it's not nice to Google. Because it's just not nice imagery. Like, it's just kind of gross. Yeah, most of it's probably fake, but still. Doesn't mean it isn't disgusting. Yeah. Do these things keep spawning from these, like, little mandatory things? Do I need to kill these? Oh, they, like, despawn. Okay. Good evening, Kazum. Uh, I might play Half-Life 2. It depends if people want to see it. Same with Black Mesa. I'll, I'll poll it all on Discord once I'm done. And people can, do, can decide what next game I want, it, I want me to play. Okay. Uh, I don't think the, that does a lot of damage to these things. Am I doing any damage to this thing at all? I don't think so. If you're playing, then I'll definitely watch it. I mean, yeah, that's the plan. For fuck's sake. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Well, I cleared the place out and then what? Like, there's something over there, but how do I get there?
Does uh, Half-Life 2 have mission packs as well? Like people are saying about like episodes. Are they like mission packs for SA? I could probably jump on one of these things now I think about it. Maybe to get up to a different platform or something. There are mods. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for official like DLCs. If they exist. Oh my fucking god, Ben, you fucking clown. Episode 1, Episode 2. They're sequels? Okay. Well, still, like, Half-Life 2 related content. Yeah, yeah well, once I'm done with this game, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll poll the next one in Discord, and I'll just play whatever you guys want to see the most. It's probably the best thing. Because then, you know, don't have to potentially be scared about playing what people don't care about because you literally will vote on what you want me to play next. Okay. I have a feeling that I might need to surf on one of these things. Might be across here. That was almost sick. These things are so annoying, they take so much fucking time. Uh, I don't have a VR setup, so I can't play Alex, sadly. Otherwise, I would consider it. Okay. There's nothing in these things, is there? No. Where the fuck am I going? I can only assume I need to get over there. Fucking jump these things. Can't jump across there either. Uh, hmm. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going now. We got something in here. Ah, I think that might be where I'm going. Is this a uh, portion like the end of the game, by the way? Because I assume I'm like going in here to like destroy the big alien source and that's going to be the end, I think, right? Yeah. I had a feeling that I was pretty close to it, not at the end. Next chapter is the final boss, okay. Just gotta figure out where the fuck I'm going. And then I'll be there. I'll destroy that. Can destroy this though. It's a good thing or a bad thing? Do I ride that up there? Surely bro won't leave us on a cliffhanger again. I mean, I'll try and finish it tonight, but it depends how long it's going to take me. Whee!
These fuckers again. Does this thing have trouble time? Not sure if they do. Right, anyway, where the fuck am I going now? Am I going back to the teleporter? Oh no. Doesn't look like there's anything else for me. Yeah, I know about the expansions. I, I plan to play them if people want to see them. Let's just drop down and see if I can survive it. I don't think I can su survive that. No. Right, so now what then? We can go across here. to here. Then we can go... But there's that one over there now. I make this jump now. I don't think I can make it anyway. What was that? Was that Magnum ammo? We're all Magnum ammo for. I don't want to lose all my health going down there unless I have to. I have legit no clue what I'm doing here. Like, what are the point of these platforms? Major. You can't land on this thing. Then they just like fly and teleport out, out of the sky, I think, eventually. So I don't think they're very useful to me. Yeah. like another under level like there was before no you just walk off here and instantly die okay the only thing i can think of as a teleporter but there's like no real way to get across there the other thing being that we were able to move this up and down somehow but again like what benefit did that give me it didn't do anything. I went up here and then I hopped onto the platforms and then what? Do I destroy these things now? Maybe if I go back down, there's like other... Other ways to get these things to all come down. 
You can't survive the jump. If I jump like anywhere from here, I take like a fuck ton of damage. Like Half Life is really stingy with fall damage. I can't make it to the teleporter. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. There's like nothing here. Don't worry, the lower des level designers also didn't know. Well, good, I guess. Okay. Oh! These things throw you out, I didn't know that. But they also do a fuck all the damage. Ideas, to be honest. If Omega got stuck here, then I'm definitely fucked because he's a way smarter guy than I am. Is there anything back here, like another way to. The way it's potentially like. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Oh. Ow. Oh. I thought that was like a good thing that it was like blocking me off, but no, I think that always happens. I don't remember hearing that sound before. But maybe I did and I just forgot. There's nothing extra here, it's just the same thing. That goes here. Like what what is this? I don't get this. What is the benefit of this? Like, this allows me to go up top. And then what? You just came from here. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I missed anything. Like, the only thing I can do from here is drop onto this platform. I don't see anything else. Unless there's, like, something above me. There's that thing that keeps going up and down, but, like, how does that benefit me? The flying thing is I don't think you are, because they just, they just disappear after a while. I must be missing something, but I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, Nide, no, welcome.
Cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. Would have loved to figure it out, but once again, it gets fucking spoiled for me. <sighs> How boring. Le legit, I haven't had to figure out a single puzzle solution in the last, like, two hours. Everything has just been fucking ruined for me. So depressing. So I guess I have to get down to like an appropriate level because all these ones are way too low. I'll die even going to them now. I'll go down one further, I guess. Whatever the platform is, I can't see it. It was just below me. Major fracture detected. Automatic Awesome. How fun. Would have loved to figure that out by myself, but alas. Yeah, I'm still enjoying it because, though, it's just. This ending has not been very fun because I haven't been able to actually enjoy any part of the game. Because this is literally partly a puzzle game and every puzzle keeps getting ruined for me, so. Makes it really hard to enjoy it. At this point, I might as well just be playing any random fucking corridor shooter. <clears throat> yeah, I'm playing at 1280 by 960. I, I don't know. If that's like the wrong thing to do or what, but I'm just playing it in 4x3 windowed. 
And apparently it makes the hood look massive for some reason. I don't really know why. But, sorry. Dude, fuck these things, that's so fucking hard. Uh, do I need to blow these things up? I feel compelled to like fucking speed through the game now because if I stop at any point. Oh, fucking hell. If I stop at any point, I'm just gonna have it immediately ruined for me. Last thing I dealt with one of these things, I had to use like a fucking bomb, like a, a, an airstrike. I guess I don't have that liberty now. I guess I, guess I just have to fight it by myself. run away. Maybe I can just die. Maybe I can just run away. Fucking hell. Fuck this, just run. I don't, I don't have the fucking arsenal to fight all these things. Hey bud. Your inducing level. Good. Let's hear it. away. Get up here. 
that thing takes is a little bit further up, but not all the way, I don't think. Unless we stand on the top of it. We go... Yeah. Then go what, this way? I shouldn't have tried to get my bearings and just immediately die before I get insta killed. Good tonight. Bro, you are so annoying. Can't hit these fucking things to save my life, man. Blind fuckers are so annoying. so much damage though. Fuck the same batch doesn't work. Gotta go balls to the wall with these fucking things. These things legit don't miss. They, they legit like, even if you try and sidestep them, if they charge up their attack on you, they never miss. Ever. I don't think I've ever seen them miss an attack. You have to get so fucking lucky to dodge it. Like, they're weak as shit, but they do so much fucking damage to you. It's crazy. It stacks. Uh, the game itself is fun. It's pretty brutal. But... The last, like, five puzzles I've all... I've had all ruined for me. Because of backseaters just not showing up and just not letting me play the game. So, it's kind of soured my taste on the playthrough. But that's not the game's fault. It's just rude viewers who too egotistical to let people play the game for the first time. Like, weird gatekeeping. There is nothing more annoying than killing something and then getting stuck permanently on their fucking hitbox. Yeah, I'm playing on medium. I'm glad I didn't pick hard. Somebody told me to pick hard to start. I'm glad I didn't. This game's fucking hard enough as it is. Apparently, on other difficulties, you get healed for less. 
um, on the stations and stuff. That's all I know about so far. Those weren't really puzzles spoiled. Don't start fucking being a smart ass with me, man. I'm really not in the fucking mood to be told, actually, they weren't puzzles, English Ben. Like, you know what I mean. Shut up. die for my troubles. Yeah, there's been a ton of times where I've just had to save scum my way through things now, noob. Because I have, like, a checkpoint with 9 HP and I've got to kill, like, 10 people. And any of them can one-shot me at any time. Even though a decent amount of health, like... He chose hard? No, I was just saying I fucking played on Momo. Be careful to not accidentally shoot one of these fucking things. Fuck you. They can melee you as well. They're just around every fucking corner in this shit. gonna play any other half-life games in the future i mean i don't know at this point man like, i was really excited to but if this is what i'm gonna get every single time i play one of these games and i'd rather not bother i'd rather just watch a fucking youtube tutorial and just have everything spoiled for me that way instead at least then i wouldn't waste my time spending 10 hours on the game play obscure shit even then I don't think that would even help Most of the time I don't like doing first playthroughs on stream. Yeah, I've found out why now. It all makes sense. What am I supposed to do about that? Spawn in with 10 health, I'm just fucking dead instantly. Yeah, you can quick save and quick load whenever, which is a fucking blessing, to be honest. This game would be so much harder without it. So I'm really glad it exists. Yeah, I get that, Nabnu. I 
it wouldn't work, Yoss. The only way you'd be able to do it is by, like, stopping messages by default until they get approved by a mod. But then that would just be ridiculous. Because there's a chance that second someone sends something, I would read it instantly, you know? There's no real way to police that. I'm gonna go back to my strategy of, of ignoring the annoying fucking alien things in this guy. They're just way too annoying. Way too difficult to hit. My aim's too shit. Some people have, like, an impulse to backseat Das Brody. Like, you see it sometimes where it's, like... You see people in, like, a YouTube comment section, and they're like, Oh my god, this is physically painful to watch. You know? Like, they're talking about how it actually causes them pain to watch somebody not figure out a puzzle as quickly as they know how to do it because they have 10,000 hours in the fucking game. It's painful. Like, dude... If that shit causes you physically pain, physical pain, and you're not fucking trolling, I think it's time for a fucking doctor visit. Give, give you the once over, you know? Or is a simple solution, just not watch it? Yeah, absolutely. I agree. But I can't stop people watching my streams. I can heal in these things as well. Imagine what's going to happen when you stream Tomb Raider. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, do I even want to fucking go through that? Do I even want to bother playing other games? Knowing that this is just, this isn't gonna be a isolated incident. This is just gonna be this is gonna be the norm from now on. Like, do I want that? Yo, Marquis, welcome. Did they really break that thing open? But they didn't quite destroy it, I don't think. Fuck you. Double fuck you. How did that sh How did that shot blow up the fucking thing behind the enemy but not the actual enemy that I was shooting at? Just 
taking too much fucking damage. How? I was on like fucking 80 health. How do I get one shot? Fucking alien things are so annoying. God. These filing aliens are the most annoying fucking things ever. I try and stop and shoot them, but they just don't stop moving and my aim just isn't good enough to kill them. My only choice is to like run past them and just pray. There's so much chip damage. Jesus fucking Christ. You're an ugly bastard, aren't you? Jesus. This final boss? I take it? Must be a Londoner. True. What the fuck? Uh, okay. You annoying little twat. There goes all my health. I would consider not looking in chat for the entirety of this fight. I mean, usually with these fights, there isn't that much to spoil, right? Or is there? Or is it like a gimmick fight where it's like a puzzle? If so, then yeah, I won't. Okay. Dude, I legit can't tell the difference between the textures and fucking the bits that stick out. There is potential to backseat. Okay, then I'll I'll look sparingly. Now I need to go up. Oh, can I just jump this? Right, because the less gravity. I, I felt like I couldn't jump that, but I can. Just for getting heals and stuff, which is nice.
least the game has great movement, so traversing isn't a pain. I would argue that this very much is a pain, because, like, you have to tap W to get to get moving, but if you do that, then you get stuck like this. But if you jump and just press W, you don't go far enough to fucking clear the things. You, you have to, like, really precisely jump just to get up here. If you don't make it otherwise, look. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. I'm sure it's great if you can get good at it, but right now, I'm not feeling it. These things are just an annoyance more than anything. You don't have to say my bad tonight. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm just disagreeing with you. We can agree to disagree. Oh my god. Dude, and it's just so slidey. Like, I, I don't let go of W, like, frame perfectly. I just fucking slide off. Maybe, boy. Oh. That's interesting. It was like a... Is this, this key gonna keep fucking happening? What is this? These ugly bastards. It looks like his head, like, opened up. Which kind of makes me want to guide a rocket in there, you know? That health station? What is it? Got a good shit here. No armor, no. It's just kind of what I wanted. I still haven't figured out what's the best gun for this. I feel like none of the guns really tackle this thing well. Shotgun is fine at close range, but once they fly away... I destroy these. Huh? Huh? Uh, maybe I use them to stand on, like ride them up. Bro, this boss fight is gonna take like ten fucking years. If this is like every like. I shoot it once, and then, oh my god, I fucking, I didn't mean to hold W there, I just lent on the key. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, this is like gonna legit take forever. If every single time I get one shot off in it, I'm gonna have to like go through like an entire fucking puzzle or like climbing section to get back out. Oh, I can dodge them. Wait, no, I can't do this one. these things as well. Fuck. Well, I'll take my loot and I'll get the hell out of there. There's a 
healing pool over there. I don't make use of that. Ow. Oh, it takes so long. Launch me high enough. What? What the fuck? Am I supposed to take this one? Does this one give me a different height value? Of course it does. Like, the, there's no way to know which one, but this one magically fucking takes you up, and the other one doesn't, for some reason. This one just doesn't take you high enough for some weird reason. Let me down without fucking damaging me, please. Oh my god. You just can't get down without taking damage? There we go. Fuck you. Come on, dude! Oh my god! This fucking annoying thing. But there's surely how many, so many places this fucking thing can teleport. Why do those things fucking kill me? Every other one I landed on it didn't kill me, but that one just did. The reason I landed on it is because I thought I would survive. If those things launch me up in the sky, and I land- and if I die on- if I land on usual ground, or on these things now, I die, how am I supposed to survive the second it flings me up? I'm just dead. But then these ones you can land on and survive just fine. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Yep. That thing fucking shot me in midair, which made me lose all my man momentum and got me one shot. Fucking awesome. Where is this fucking bastard? Get teleported again, man. Now I just fight this fucking thing. Oh my fucking god. I'm back here again. Yeah. 
Oh, that's awesome. Like, what is this fucking shit fight, man? It, I, I just don't get to actually fucking fight it. It just keeps fucking teleporting me. Like, nothing has been communicated that it has any kind of fucking weakness or anything that I can capitalize on. This game just tells you nothing. I get no chance to figure it out because the second I try, I just get teleported away again instantly. Look at this. Like, I, I don't even have a chance to look at the fucking boss arena to see what I can fucking do. I have a look around for about two seconds and it's straight fucking teleported. Like, there's a platform there. I don't know what it does. I don't have a chance to fucking look at it. Yep, that's fair. Losing all my fucking health. Like, am I supposed to do something over there? Crystal, maybe? I'm supposed to shoot it? Blow it up? Like, I don't know. I'm not going to find out because I'm getting teleported again. Only I had two seconds to actually have a look and actually fucking evaluate the boss arena to have a chance at winning. This boss is fucking garbage, Trump. <laughs> All it does is troll you and just delay the fight. It's like no actual threat. It just keeps fucking teleporting you everywhere. Every like second attack. So you can't like actually figure out the gimmick to the boss. Because you don't have any chance to look around before it just instantly teleports you again. It's just so frustrating. Fuck you. Yeah. This thing's just gonna fucking spawn chat me. You gotta dodge the skill shots? I did dodge them, but they fucking like levitate towards you. Like if they're if they're coming down and you dodge, you dodge and then they just come and hit you in the back again. Like I'm not sure how I'm supposed to avoid that. I do avoid it and then it just hits me anyway. This fucking twat just keeps fucking spawn camping the fucking thing. the wrong fucking one anyway. God. Oh 
don't think I can hit that from there. Fuck. I only have one rocket as well. Have to use something else. Fuck you. There we go. Now what? Can I actually fight the fucking thing? Teleporting piece of shit. Like, how am I supposed to dodge that? I dodge it, and it just perfectly follows me mid long jump, which is like my fastest way to move. I don't understand how you're supposed to dodge that. It doesn't make any fucking sense. You can't. You just can't. It's not possible. Unless there's something that I just haven't been told or have missed. I need some more rockets. It's so annoying that one of these doesn't fucking take you up there, and there's like no way to know. I can't even tell if I'm damaging it. Surely I've got to shoot it like the top of its head or something. What did I even hit there? Just died to nothing. <sighs> Every single time I fucking pick this, it's always the wrong one. Yeah, it teleported me into, like, each room once, and then it just fucking gave up and just te kept teleporting me into the room with that fucking spawn camping little knobhead. Every single time. Fuck this, I'm killing this guy. If it's gonna keep fucking teleporting me in here. As if he fucking sidesteps so. Didn't know this guy was gonna legit take all of my fucking ammo of every single gun. This guy's just legit infinite health, I guess. Well, let's hope I don't need those rockets. I can get some more actually. I think at least these respawn every time. So I can use them. Okay, round, what is it, 50? Oh, 
boss, I picked the wrong one again. Like, what a fucking climactic boss fight this is. It's just boring. At this point, it's legit just boring. I only assume I'm damaging it, but I have legit no idea. Do I need to like jump into its head or something? I can't make it over there. But I feel like I need to get over there. Otherwise, what would be the point in having those big platforms on the side? Oh. Am I going in? Or am I- did I kill it? That was it. Did I did I kill it? Or did I just jump high and destroy it? Like, I have no idea. I have no idea what the fuck is happening right now. All it took is one shot in the brain, right? Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my uh, employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well... I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. There's two endings. To choose. It's time to choose. See both of them. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. So how do I refuse? Do I just not go through the portal and there's like another boss fight or something or what? Or do I just get like executed? Just wait in the train. Yeah. We get to keep the music too. It's time to choose. Sorry, G-Man, I'm I'm Raven. What? I can't hear you. Hey, where'd the music go? So get hired or die. Good to know. Oh shit! It's back.
They're both happy endings because they both play the happy music. <clears throat> GG. Yeah, both good endings. Now review time. So this, this so this game has like the Dark Souls one treatment. You guys know what I mean by that? Where like the game is exceptional towards the start, and then the final zone it just takes a fucking nosedive. Like the first half of the game is like an eight out of ten. Final like final third or like final quarter is like a three. It's like so fucking annoying. Like the last hour of this was just like just so frustrating. And like the final boss, like yeah, Zen as a map, it, or like a chapter or whatever, or like a section, is terrible. Like you can tell it's rushed. Everything before that is great. And then the final boss is like hilariously bad. Like it's so anticlimactic for the entire game. game. But yeah, like overall, definitely still a good game, but if they'd have done the ending right, or like the final segment, it would have been like a great game, you know? Personally, I hated this game from start to finish. Why would you finish it if you hated like the first couple of hours of it? Why would you not just move on, you know? And also some of the sections, like I know this is a game from the 90s, but some of the sections where you have to progress, like the the way to progress is like not obvious at all. Like I think if I was playing this by myself, I probably would have got stuck and probably had to look up a few things. Because the amount of times where I just got stuck and I was just looking around and then there was like, you know, a door or a button that doesn't look like you can activate it. It just looks like it's kind of painted on, but it's actually relevant and you can't go through without it. Like, yeah. Very, very weird. Very, very weird. I like to complete my games. Yeah, fair enough. Hey. But yeah, if Black Mesa, then yeah, if it fixes Zen and kind of redoes it, then that's probably like, yeah, probably definitive. Definitive time. It was a different age for PC gaming. Could you finish GTA 3 on the first go? Yeah, that's what I mean, Halogen. That's why I'm I'm giving it more of like a a pass than I usually would. Like if this game came out in 2024, I would be like, what the fuck? But for it for the game that came out like a year after I was born, this is a very impressive game. And I can understand why it kind of set like a benchmark, you know? And paved the way for a lot of other games and is seen as like, you know, an inspiration to a lot. Because for the 90s, like these kind of games didn't exist in the 90s. This was definitely one of one of the first of its kind. So yeah. It does get a seal of approval. Definitely. But Zen is shit. Fuck Zen. I'm older than you? Of course you're older than me. Dude. I'm a young stallion. Uh, but yeah, so, um, bot link to Discord. Uh, join the Discord if you want to take part in deciding what the next game is, because I'll be posting a poll soon. I don't know exactly when, probably tomorrow, uh, with all the games that I plan on playing, and you can decide what the next one is. Uh, I will include Half-Life Opposing Force, which I think is the first one. Right? If I go on the Half-Life Wikipedia page, I think it tells me which ones came out when. Uh, opposing... Yeah, Opposing Force came out in 1999, Blue Shift in 2001. So yeah, you can choose between Opposing Force, Half-Life 2, or any of the other games that I've got on the backlog. What do I think about Half-Life speedruns? I've seen bits and pieces. Obviously, I didn't look because I don't want to spoil the game. Uh, but they're very impressive. Like the B like manual B hopping and all the precise movement and stuff. Very, very impressive. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's kind of getting late, so I'm gonna run. But I appreciate you all uh stopping by. As I say, join the Discord 
if you want to take part in the next poll to see what I play on it, play next. And uh, yeah, please don't backseat me anymore. That's my formal request to everyone. Yeah, see you later. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, quickly, I'll find someone to raid as well. Really quick. Uh, go and watch GSPS. Whoa. They're uh, raising money for charity, which is really cool. I like charity. Yeah. See you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.